You know, I'm really curious as to see how many of these um, places that people put applications in. You know, like um, when they apply for a job or an apartment, places where they would put their social security number and their birth date and all their work history. How many of these places that people are putting applications in are helping illegal immigrants commit identity theft? I'm not trying to be funny, but we've got a lot of companies here who use, and it's historically known, who use different ways and tactics in order to help lower their um, cost of, um, of production. It doesn't really help some of these um, employer, these companies, employers, and um, uh, also these apartments. If they, if, if for them to um, get these employees working at the, the legal minimum wage. So how many of these companies in order to cut corners have helped illegal immigrants because they believe in illegal immigration how many of these corporations and apartments and these camping grounds and all these other places have helped with, uh, with the problem of identity theft with illegal immigrants? Not just them, with other people too. People who might just be malicious in, um, in um, how they um, uh, uh, politically see things and might use that information wrongfully. This is another reason we need to change how we do things. Because once you enter a job application somewhere, that person may keep your application on file forever. And then they have your information to use at hand anytime. So it's really a benefit for us to make some serious changes within this country in order to further prevent identity theft. Something to think about. Have a blessed day. And God bless America.